Hey guys, welcome back to Mastering the Art Of, and today we're gonna talk about, you guessed it, Cushion Compact. Everything you need to know about which is the best cushion to look for, the best color for your skin type, and the best techniques. Have fun, and of course, good luck. Don't worry, if you're new to Cushion Compacts, here's a quick one-on-one. They originated from Korea, and normally they provide a lightweight sheer coverage. The packaging, as you can see here, is bulkier than your average compact because it has to create an airtight seal to keep your cushion fresh. If you look inside, you'll find an applicator, which is usually a dense antibacterial circular sponge, like this, and a porous sponge that's soaked in foundation, BB, or CC cream. Here's my favorite pro tip. Just like how you're flipping the mattress to turn the bed, Flip the sponge when the product starts to run low. It's kind of like a one-up for the sponge. The application is pretty universal. All you have to do is load the applicator sponge and start blotting onto the skin in small, even pads. Choosing the right cushion compact all comes down to selecting the right finish and coverage for your skin tone and type. If you have fair skin, then you know the struggle of finding product that matches your complexion. When I say fair, I mean skin that is paler than a ghost so pale that your face is naturally blown out in flash photos. But it's all good because those of you with fair skin have a decent range of brands to choose from. Many of my favorites are from South Korea. If you have a light to medium tan skin tone, you have a lot of options to play with. A lot of the Korean brands will carry only a few shades that generally fall in the light to medium skin tones. Here are some of my favorite brands to check out. Because Cushion Compact is relatively new in face makeup, unfortunately, shade range is limited. But there are brands who carry shades for deeper tones. Cushions are also available in color correction shades. Yellow helps with discoloration. Purple combats dullness. Peach brightens dark circles. And green neutralizes redness. Now we can move on to recommendations for different skin types. When selecting a Cushion Compact for dry skin, instead of finding one that is foundation-based, Look for one that is BB or CC cream based. For application, use a good moisturizer and hydrating primer. You can even spray a moisturizing toner on your application sponge before applying in order to keep your skin hydrated and the foundation from settling into fine lines. From here, just continue building your desired coverage by adding thin layers. I recommend pressing and lifting like this to avoid streaks and dry patches. Here are some of my picks for dry skin. When it comes to selecting a cushion compact for combination skin, you have a wider range to choose from since you can tolerate compacts for dry and oily skin. For application, start by applying your cushion compact around your jawline and cheeks, building coverage as you go. From there, dab around the T-zone area with a beauty blender in order to avoid buildup. And once you're done, immediately set this area with powder for a flawless finish. Here are some brands that you can try out for combination skin. If you have oily skin, be aware that Cushion Compacts are not the best choice because of their dewy finishes. No worries though, there are Cushion Compacts for you. Just try and find one that has a mattifying or satin finish. Stay away from the ones with hydrating benefits and look for one that has a lightweight formula. When it comes to application, start by using your favorite mattifying primer. Something like Milk of Magnesia that will soak up the oil on your T-zone and keep you matte throughout the day. After building your desired coverage, Finish off with a mattifying spray and apply translucent or mattifying powder to keep your skin looking fresh. Here are my recommendations for oily skin. Both acne and mature skin are grouped together here because both types require extra attention. The trick is to keep your skin balanced. You wanna look for cushion compacts with added skincare benefits and stay away from heavy formulas with harsher ingredients. For application, start with a primer to help smooth out fine lines or blemishes. From here, you can apply with a damp sponge to avoid excess product in fine lines. Be sure that you're applying in thin layers. Because most of the formulas are sheer, you may have to touch up with a spot concealer on blemished areas. Once you're done with the application, finish off with a hydrating setting mist. And here are some brand recommendations. Oh, and special thanks to everyone who was in this video who decided to show up and show their face without makeup lending me their beautiful faces. You can follow them on their social, which I will add right here and here and here and here. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope it inspired you to find your best cushion compact and I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys, bye.